one day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Fifty years ago, the man who dared to dream of such things as equal rights, human decency, and racial equality was cut down by an assassin's bullet outside this motel in Memphis, Tennessee. But his leadership for civil rights through his fiery oration and nonviolent resistance brought generational change that carries to this day. The way he took his path was to make a difference and to inspire others. On this, the 50th anniversary of his death, 25 young African-American high school and college students from New York City are experiencing the memory and spirit of Dr. King through an extraordinary exhibition at the New York Historical Society, brought here by the New York Coalition of 100 Black Women. In this day and age, we still face a lot of races, like racism, and I feel like because of him, it lets us know that it is possible to overcome these things. On display, powerful historic images of the Reverend as he carried on his crusade for social justice. There is Dr. King arrested and jailed after demonstrating in Birmingham, Alabama, a KKK cross burning from the early 1960s, police arresting demonstrators in Atlanta, and Dr. King at the pulpit in Montgomery, Alabama. It's surprising and kind of overwhelming. For the students, the exhibition is thought-provoking and meaningful. He shows how strong African Americans are and that we could push through anything. He means hope, inspiration, determination to follow your dreams and make a change in the world. On this the day, we honor the man who dared to dream. Scott Rappaport, TV 1055.